Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. That's a really, really exciting morning today because as you guys would have known, we in the Beastie Room have got um, seven, I think, adult female uh, piece of area Metallicus, the Gucci Ornamental. Now we have paired every single one of those over the last probably nine months and each and every one of them has molted out. Apart from this one, who has dropped a sack. Now she's been on this sack for 32 days now and she's been left entirely alone. We've not really looked at her from the day we found the sack. We've not looked at her until today. So she has been left well and truly alone. We're very, very excited about this. Um, now, one of the reasons I think all of the others um, molted out and didn't produce a sack, although I believe we had successful pairings, I'm of the thinking that maybe that those females weren't quite mature enough. Although they're big enough in size, they're maybe not mature enough in themselves. Whereas this girl was a little bit older. So I'm sort of hedging on the fact that maybe that is the case. Now, um, with the regardless, it doesn't seem to matter because they seem to mature very quickly. And we have got a young female that's actually on her first egg sack as we speak. That's a second generation for the Beastie Room. Now, um, whether the Metallicas are slightly different, we don't know. But anyway, here we are. This is her enclosure. Now you would have remembered that we set this girl up in this bioactive enclosure with the hope that the move and everything would in fact um, kickstart her into producing a sack. And that's exactly what it done. Now it took a good, probably a good month, five, maybe six weeks before this actually happened. Um, so, what we've got, we've got all our information as usual on, on the thing here. Now, she was cohabited on the 1st of the 11th, 20. And we finally got an egg sack back on the 6th of the 5th, 21. It is now the 6th of the 6th. So she's been in there 32 days. Now, it is possible that she laid this sack a day or two before we, we actually saw it. I tend to, with all of my um, females that are hopefully gravid, I check them every weekend. So if I haven't seen them in the week, on a Saturday or a Sunday, I will go around and I will have a look into the backs of the enclosures and just to see if anyone's dropped a sack. So it gives me a week in between checking that it's possible that a sack might have been dropped. But I always take it from the date that I find it. So I found this one back on the 6th of the 5th. And that's the date that I put on the on the information, because even if she dropped earlier than that, then the slings will just be a little bit more grown on or they might well hatch inside the enclosure before I'm ready, which is all well and good. I'd rather this happen than me try and sit and think, oh, we'll go back a week and then I pull it and it's too early. So we always do it from the day we find them. Very important, that I think. Now then. Another little thing that we've done with the Metallica is when we done her bioactive enclosure, we covered the backing because as you know, I like to have the bark on the back of the tank and this allows me to come in and check my spiders. If you're using cork tubes, which you all know I don't like, and this is for the reason you cannot get in there and check. If she was in a cork tube, we wouldn't know if she had a sack or not. So it's all very hit and miss, but by doing it the way I do it, we got total control all the time. So we put this on here now, and this was basically to give her a little bit extra security and give her somewhere dark to tuck herself away. These are a little bit light sensitive, these guys, and uh, it's worked, it's worked a treat. So what we're gonna do now is we are gonna have a little look and we're gonna see what we got. So what we do is the, the card on the back is only taped on, Let's see if she's, oh yeah, she's still got it. Here we go. Let me come round here and have a look at that. How's that? 
can we see? Now, as you can see, this is what I was talking about. By having the, the bark on the back of the enclosure, it means that we can open up this window and we can see in there and we know exactly what we've got. We have got full control of this environment, which is very, very important because it means that we can actually get in and see what's what without really disturbing her. If she was in a cork tube or something like that, we'd have to dig it out, muck about, you know, there's too much going on. So we need to make sure that we disturb the very, very least as possible. I think this is absolutely amazing. Now then, it's still not 100% because we don't know if the sack's any good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this off and it is now time to remove it. This is always a test in time, this. I'm always a bit nervous at this point. Now, if you like to come over, you can see what she's done with the top of the top of the hide there. You can see now she's webbed that over her. It's not really a thick web, but she's webbed enough of it to protect herself. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna break through the top here and we're gonna try and get this sack. Now I'm hoping she's not going to put up too much of a fight, but we will see. If you keep an eye on what she's doing down there, and I will try and do my best here. Is that alright? There we go. Fingers crossed everybody. And we're literally just going to break through the hole here. Oh, it looks like a nice sack. Oh, she's gone right to the bottom. Oh, it feels heavy. That's lovely. Right. As you can see there, we managed to get that without too much hassle and stress to our beautiful spider. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cover our back up. Put the lid back on. Bear in mind, we want to still keep things nice and calm. We don't want to upset her. So we're just going to move this over here. Move that there for a moment. Right then. Oh, this is so exciting. So exciting. Right then. Now then, this actually feels Feels quite heavy. Let's hope we've got our timing right. There we go. Getting in there. Oh, so close. Don't see any movement. My fingers are a bit big for this now. Oh, we got eggs with legs. Look at that. 
Absolutely amazing. Oh, that's wonderful. Look at that. Let's try and open this up a little more. Now then, look, we have, by the look of things, we've got the odd dark one here. See, these are no good. That one there, these have died. That one's almost there. This was a good call to actually open this up because there is one or two bad ones there. I think what we do is we're going to put them in our in our nursery pot. You guys remember what we do with the nursery pots? Standard deli cut. We cut one in half. We put our stocking material on. And as you can see in there, that's literally... That stocking now is the only thing holding the sling, or the eggs with legs in this case, between them and the water in the bottom. And then this will just stay at the room temperature we have in the room. This is such amazing news. I am so pleased. Right. I'm going to empty this out. This looks like a very good clutch. Um... There's an undeveloped egg there. Now these can be the spoilers in a clutch. Because when that goes bad, it can upset the whole clutch. This one is actually stuck to the thing there. I think it's perished that one. I think this was a good call to take this now. There we go. I don't think that one's actually any good because it does appear to be, yeah, you see it's dark underneath there. Doesn't seem to be any movement there. So then, we'll have a little flick through here see what we've got because we don't want to be leaving any bad ones and there's a couple that are dark but are actually still alive so I think we're going to leave them this one's got something stuck to it not quite sure what that is there well then isn't that just amazing It's actually still alive, although it looks discoloured, it's actually still alive. So I think that might pull through. Let's place him back. Well, I am absolutely ecstatic. We have tried so hard to breed these and um, it's been a real long gestation period getting this girl to actually drop. So we've learned a thing or two here. Um, yes, I am really, really pleased. <laughs> so we will now keep these guys in here and we will, we will watch them through. Now it's going to be another, probably another 
three weeks or so, maybe four weeks, before these actually turn into full-blown slings. As you can see, they are only eggs with legs at the moment. So if this had been an absolutely perfect egg sac, perfect clutch, they could have well gone another week in there, maybe two weeks before we could have pulled them out, which would have put them near the 40-day mark. Now, um, I think because we had a couple of bad ones, this was a good shout. So 30, 32 days we pulled this, seems like a really good thing. And as with eggs with eggs, these are nice and easy to deal with now as well. So then, well, I'm glad you enjoyed that. Well, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I think that was absolutely fantastic. I have been itching to get in and have a look at these. And um, yeah, this is a first for us in the Beastly Room. So we are very, very pleased. And uh, yeah, these will be available very, very soon. I have to keep a few back for myself though. Right then, don't forget, be calm, be gentle, and love your spiders. I'll see you soon guys.